Welcome to Ride is Rain Crochet. Today we're doing this cute little koala rattle, baby rattle. Um, you'll need a ring. They ask for a six centimeter ring. I'm not sure if that's what I got, but I ordered this one from Amazon and it worked fine. Um, a, I use these for my rattles uh, or a rattle box. And a two and a half millimeter hook and baby cotton 25 gazelle is what I'm using for this. Um, this is what was left of um, the original ball. So one of these will definitely get you through this project. And um, I would um, make sure you guys have a good stitch marker for you. Um, I'm going to be moving through this pretty quickly. It is a long um, pattern. So on the places where I could get them smaller, cut it short. I'll cut it short and go ahead and pause the video and let you guys move forward. Um, this pattern is not mine. I will put the link below to the pattern. Um, I do not want to murder this person's name. So I am going to go ahead and just put the link, the Etsy link at the bottom, um, if you guys would like to have the written pattern. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with our head, and we're going to start with a magic ring of six um, single crochets. I have trouble doing, I love magic rings, I'm really good at them, but not when it comes to this uh, small of yarn. Um, so what I do is I chain two, and then I single crochet six single crochets in that first chain and it works just perfectly fine. So we'll go ahead and get these in. Try to tuck your yarn if you can. This is always a little burger right here in the beginning, isn't it? Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to increase, and that's gonna give us um, 12 stitches. And I will meet you guys around at the end of the increase. Okay, we're back around. We have 12 single crochets. We're gonna do a single crochet increase all the way around. So hopefully all of you guys have made a head before um, or have done a ball of some sort. So I am going to actually um, give you guys some instructions and then let you guys work on your own for a while. We are gonna do um, increases all the way around up until we have six single crochet increase so that um, we are not doing this forever. You guys know how to do this. So one single crochet increase, two single crochet increase, three, four, five, six single crochet increase. There is no need in breaking up the the even numbers, if you've done that in the past, we're gonna have enough rounds to do that. Um, so I'm gonna have you guys go ahead and do, keep doing what you're doing, increasing around until we have a flat piece with six single crochet increase. Work your way all the way up. So at the end of your first round of, so one single crochet increase, that's gonna be 18, two single crochet, 24, 30, 36, 42, and 48. Six single crochet increase. You're gonna have 48 stitches at the end. I will meet you back here when you have completed that. Okay, hopefully you guys uh, got that completed without any problems and we have our little hexagon here. Now what we're gonna do is five rounds of 48 single crochet, five rounds. So I will meet you guys back here again after you guys have completed 
five rounds. Okay, we made it around. Now we're gonna make the eye holes. I love doing these to my projects. I do them to everyone I can. It makes life so much easier. But we're gonna go ahead and do this round together. So we're gonna do seven single crochets and then an increase. One, seven single crochet increase. And let's go ahead and repeat that, seven single crochet increase. Okay, chain one, skip one, six single crochets. And an increase. Three silk crochets. Chain one, skip one. Three single crochets. And an increase. And then we're going to repeat the seven single crochet increase to the end. We'll do that two times. Six. Seven. Increase. and seven more, and increase at the very end. and our increase, very nice. And if you want to take um, some stitch markers and place them in here where you did your chain one, you're more than welcome if that's gonna help you find it later. When we do, we wanna do a couple more rounds so we have a good place for our eyes to sit. So we can go ahead and put these in here and then I will meet you when you are done. All right, well, I decided it was probably a good idea to make my eye stitch markers a different color than my actual round stitch marker. Okay, so we should now have a total of 54 stitches. We are gonna do three. We're gonna do four rounds um, of 54 stitches. Four rounds, meet you back here. Okay, if you're not getting 54 stitches, um, make sure that you're getting your um, chain one space and this stitch right after the chain one space um, on both of your eyes. Sometimes those are easy to miss. Um, so make sure you have those and I'll see you at the end of the four rounds. All right, we made it back around. Now we're ready to put our eyes on. Um, I am using six millimeter eyes. 
And what I like so much about making that chain one space is that we are not pushing and ripping through our yarn. So it's a nice, real nice and clean because um, it just slides right in there. Go ahead and get our safety eyes popped on. And we want to go ahead and take a lighter. And if you guys haven't done this before, it is a must. Sorry, sometimes I got to get this one with my teeth. Okay, and what we'll do is make sure everything else is out of the way so you don't catch your project on fire. And we're just going to go ahead and melt this. Sometimes it'll catch on fire, blow it out. And then we just push the end down like so. And now no matter what, that safety eye is not going to be popping out. Um, which is a really good thing considering this is for a baby. Okay, so, and as we proceed, um, go ahead and keep stuffing and get your, um, your rattle box or your rattle or whatever it is that you're, if you're putting it in there, um, in there as you go around. Um, again, we're going to go through this pretty quickly, this part, because it is um, the same kind of stuff that we're used to doing. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to um, do seven single crochet decrease. It's an invisible decrease. You always want an invisible decrease on amigurumi if you can do it. I'll show you here. Six and seven. And then we're going to go through the front loop of the first stitch, front loop of the second stitch. We're going to bring our yarn through and then grab our yarn and finish off our single crochet. That's an invisible decrease. So what you're going to do as you continue stuffing, get this in the middle, your ball in the middle as you go. We're going to do seven single crochet, decrease six, Five, four, three, two, all the way down to two single crochet decrease. On the seven single crochet decrease, you're gonna have 48. Six is gonna be 42. Five is gonna be 36. Four single crochet decrease is 30. Three is 24. And two is 18. I'm going to meet you guys back here with you guys having 18 single crochets left you're going to be stuffed you're going to have your little rattle in if you're using a rattle um, and I will see you guys when we are um, almost completed with the head okay I hope all is well and your head looks a little bit like this head I went ahead and did my white little white around the eyes that is uh, definitely up to you um, I use six millimeter eyes. Please feel free to use bigger eyes if you want. Um, I think I might have already mentioned that. It's probably too late now, but anyway, throw it out there. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do the muzzle real quick, and then we'll move on to the ears. So the muzzle is black, and we're going to start with a chain five. Starting in the second chain from the hook, we're going to single crochet three. I know this is probably very difficult to see because I have the black, I apologize. One, two, three. There should be one stitch left, the very first chain. We're going to put three single crochets in that last stitch to come around to the other side. It's two. 
And three, try to tuck your end if you can. Then we're gonna do two single crochets up this other side. And then we're gonna do an increase in the last stitch. Okay, and you might want a stitch marker here. I can get to it. Okay, now what we're gonna do is an increase going to do two single crochets we're going to do three increases so one should be on the side the back and the other side and again I apologize that you can't see this black Then we're gonna do two single crochets. And then we're gonna increase two times to get us back to the beginning. And when we're done, we should have 16 single crochets. And we're gonna go ahead and single crochet around one time at 16 single crochets. All right, we got our 16 single crochets around. Maybe even your tails will do it for you. Um, and then go ahead, well, go ahead and pin it on first <laughs> the way you would like it to be. Um, and then stuff it once you've get, got most of that uh, pinned on. I'm going to put this in here at the bottom. And I'm going to center that. So I like that, like so, and I'm gonna poof it up. Go ahead and get my sides. Then I will uh, try to get some stuffing in there. and make sure that we feel comfortable with it sitting like that. Okay, and then you guys can sew that on. Um, we are also gonna go ahead and move over here to our ears. So let's get our gray back. Of course, you're gonna make two ears. And we're gonna do a magic ring. In my case, a chain two, because for some, like I said, for some reason, I cannot seem to, my hands do not like the magic ring when it, it's this little. So I'll do six single crochets. There's our six. Now we're gonna increase all the way around. That will make 12. Remember, we wanna try to tuck our tail if we can tuck our tail. Always if this first stitch I, is um, really hard to get into, um, I just take one of my needles and go ahead and pull it through like that. I'm sorry, I didn't even get to see that. Get it in there and then pull it through all the way through and that way that one tight one I can get um, my hook in much better. Maybe. This second time. 
Okay, so we're going to increase all the way around. We're going to do a single crochet increase, two single crochet increase, three single crochet increase, and I will meet you back here once you have finished rounds one through five. We did the magic ring. We're doing an increase, single crochet, one increase, single crochet, two, single crochet, three. You should end with 30 stitches. Okay, I'm done with my three single crochet increase round, and here we are. Now we're gonna do four rounds of single crochets. Four rounds. I'll meet you back at the end of your fourth round. All right, I hope all is well, and we're looking like this. We finished our four rounds of single crochets, 30 stitches each. We're gonna fold these in half, and we are going to single crochet to the, both of these together, having a total of, should be 14 single crochets. We're gonna go ahead and go all the way down the edge here. And once we're done, we're gonna go ahead, we can leave a long tail for sewing if you would like. We need to now rewind the video, make one more of these, and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to our centers, the white pieces that go in the center of the ear, and I shall see you back here when we're ready to do those. Good luck on your other ear. Wonderful, I hope everything has been well for you guys. Um, let's go ahead and do the uh, white part of the eye that, or of the eye, the ear, the white part of the ear that goes here. Um, they're actually quite simple. Of course, we're going to make two. We're going to make um, six single crochets and a magic ring. We are then going to increase to 12 and then single crochet one increase to have a total of 18. Very simple. We've already done this several times already today. So I will meet you guys after you've gotten um, six single crochets, six increases, single crochet increase six times, total of 18 stitches. And go ahead and get two of those made and I'll meet you back here. Okay, I hope we're back with two ears that look like this. And to center of the ears, that looked like this. And I, I went ahead and it did not um, make a complete circle here, um, kind of on purpose because we are flat and flat, and that kind of helped, I think, make it look a little better. So what I did, and something to be aware of, you guys do whichever way you want, but it frustrated me because I ended up doing it two different directions. This is going to bend, right, one way or the other. Um, Make sure whatever that you guys are doing the finished edge on the same, the same way. Um, I am doing the finished edge at the bottom like this so that when I stitch this ear on, I have all those finished, that last row of single crochets to crochet into there. If we did not do it like that, it would look like this crocheting end. Whoops, I'm... So that may, you guys may like that one even better. Just do them both the same so that you don't regret it later. And then something else that I had found out as well is that be very diligent. I am going to glue mine in first. I use this uh, three in one. I'm gonna glue these in place first, then I'm gonna come back and I can sew them. Um, was getting them both exactly even on both sides of the head ended up being that one was up a little higher than the other like this when i got done because i did them separate so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put some glue to tack those down so that i know the ears are even and they look symmetrical um and then i can come back around with the white and fasten the rest of that down um so now we're going to be working on moving to the band that holds our strap together. Now this is something that 
you guys may really need to experiment with and find out um, what length you want or don't want. So have your ring. Um, the pattern says to chain um, 25. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a little swatch. So we're going to chain 25. Um, then we're going to uh, turn, go back down, chain one, turn. So that it's going to be a little swatch of 24 um, single crochets and 11 rows deep. I have not found that I need 11 rows. For my size ring, um, this was my little swatch, took up about half, I would say almost half of the ring. You guys pick and choose how you want, um, but I would be very weary once you start getting to row 9, 10, just keep checking it. It's going to go on very strange, and I will show you guys a better way to get that on here once we get the swatch done. Just take the center and fold that center over and see how the two, don't worry about the floppy ends, see how these two um, are lining up. You want them tight. We want it to be very tight on our ring. I'm going to go ahead and get started on that swatch, um, and then um, I'll jump back in and periodically make sure everything is okay. So once again, we're gonna chain 25. Second chain from the hook, we're gonna single crochet all the way down. I know you guys have done this before. Um, and then chain one, 24, chain one, 24, chain one, 24. And I'll meet you back here in just a little bit once we get a little further along on this. Back together again, and we've got our little swatch done. Um, I went ahead and this is that tight when it's pulled, so I think that's going to be absolutely perfect when I'm done. Now there's a couple ways that you can do this. The pattern itself has you sew this on the ring first and then crochet the head onto that. I actually have found that it is better for me. What I do is I go ahead and center this on my strap. Now, of course, we cannot crochet all the way around like this, right? Absolutely not. It's not going to work because then it's our animal's going to be wrapped around it. But what we can do is find the center of this. And as we crochet, we will bring this outside piece down here to the inside. From the inside, to the outside piece. Do you see that? So we're just going to bring that all in to a centralized area here. And then we're going to go ahead. Then we will sew our strap onto our ring. Um, so if you guys are going to do that, let's go ahead and do that. If you want to sew the head on once we get the band, we'll be back to do the band here in just a minute. I'll show you a little bit easier way to get it on and make sure it stays straight. Um, you can also get, I got my ears on, I got my little eyebrows, um, so this guy's ready to go, and uh, I can meet you back here in just a minute. So I thought I'd just chime in here and let you guys see how I did this. So I, I found the center of my, my swatch, and I went ahead and marked that. That gives me an idea when I come around where I kind of want to go to. You want to stay, keep that, of course, centralized where this bar would be, right? So it's going to curve um, nicely around it. Then I went ahead and just tacked these down because it can have a tendency to move on you. And this way you can um, go ahead and make sure that you're going where you want to go, like so without the piece moving on you. And, to the, and then as I go around, I take my pen out because I know that we're good. Right. Hopefully you guys can see how I'm seeing here. And then bring it back up towards this middle. And I'm just going to go all the way around and complete that. All right, we are back, and I have my head on. You guys can see how this turns out and see if that's something you guys are interested in. Now what I do is I just take a bunch of these uh, stitch markers, and what I do is I go ahead and make sure I have the center 
this has been the best bet for me. And I go ahead and I'm going to pin my center like so. And then I work my way out. And if you can keep working your way out, I know this is probably not the easiest for you guys to be seeing right now, is that I can keep it even. And making sure that it doesn't get oblong or crooked on me. We're going to do the same this direction. It's a little fiddly. you got to give it a little bit of love. And that also helps you as you're, as you're stitching it together that it's you guys are got... Uh, you don't end up at the end and then it's um, it's crooked. I didn't put one right at the end because that's where my tail's at. That's where I'm starting at. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, take our needle and our tail. Okay. So I start here at the end. Sometimes I do it uh, two or three times just to make sure that um, I got my end is done really well. Get this out of the way. And I just go from one side, then back in the side I came from. And we will work our way down, taking out our um, stitch markers as we go. This will keep us lined up. Keep your, see how that's lined up? As, as you keep, it really is tight, but you want it tight, right? We don't want... We don't want it going all a fool, so this way you can make up if you need to make up places before you get back to this lined up part. And I'll see you at the end of that. Congratulations! You guys should be all done and have something quite similar to this. Um, on I do have a couple more uh, rattle videos uh, coming up from um, the same designer. And I will be doing this uh, cute little elephant and also the giraffe. So um, keep an eye out for those and enjoy. And thank you so much for joining Riders Ring Crochet. And like always, please like, share, and subscribe. See you soon.